Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Birth and Beyond. And today I want to talk about companionship. Today I'm coming to you from the single mom Adrian perspective, right? And the reason why I want to address this is because it's a topic that is prevalent in my life, um, prevalent in the lives of people that are in my life. And I'm guessing that it's a comment or topic, I'm sorry, rather, that is important to you. Now, most of the time when I hear the word companion, and usually like when I use it too, it's referring to a significant other, it's referring to a spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, a romantic relationship, right? And I usually hear, you know, well, I want companionship, I, you know, I want a companion. And my goal today in this video is to encourage my single moms out there who are desiring marriage um, around the word companionship. So I want to ask you this question. And I want you to think about it for the next few minutes. Who is in your life? Okay. Now, I looked up the word companion in the dictionary and I just Googled it. And the definition that came up was something to the effect of the feeling of fellowship or friendship, right? That's what companionship is. And if I can get a little bit personal with you guys. So recently I had a moment just in my personal life, you know, where I was honestly just like, Lord, where my husband at, right? And some people might be like, well, why are you sharing that? Don't nobody need to know all that. But it doesn't matter because I know that you want to know because you're asking the same question of yourself. And I have women in my life who I have conversations with who talk about the same type of things. And that's okay, right? And just as a sidebar note, just because you desire marriage and a spouse does not mean that you are not content in your singleness or that you are um, dissatisfied and rushing to your next season. I just want to put that out there. It's okay to desire things, right? So anyway, um, I had a moment in my personal life and I'm just like, Lord, like I, I'm companionship, like what's up, what's up with it? What's up with him, right? <laughs> and what I had to do was number one, what I do personally is I go to the word of God. Like, so my relationship with God is something that has sustained me for many, many, many years. I find comfort in the word of God and what he says about how he feels about me and that I'm not alone and that I'm cherished and cared for and that he's concerned about me. So spiritually, I find comfort and companionship with seeking the Lord. But then I had to remind myself that I have people in my life who really care about me, who I can talk to and be honest with. I'm a part of a community of people, a couple communities actually, of people that I know I can go to and share different things with different things with to get um, like advice or wisdom or encouragement. And so what I did when I was having my moment was I reached out to a couple of my friends, like two in particular. And I just talked to them about what I was experiencing. I asked for prayer. I was honest with them. I was open with them. Ended up on the phone with one of them. And we had a really, really good conversation. And, and like when I tell you by the end of the conversation, I was feeling encouraged. I was feeling like at peace in my heart. I was feeling, I had a, a renewed perspective of my circumstance. And so I say all that to say, um, I know we want companionship. I know that that is important. And, and, and God cares about that, right? He cares. Like, um, the Bible tells us that we are created in the image of God. We're creating in, created in his likeness, right? So God is relational. He is even in community with himself. It's the Godhead, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus, the Son, right? They are they are in relationship and and um in communion with each with, with each other. So if we are created in his image and in his likeness, it is natural for us to want relationship. We are hardwired for connection and relationship. So what I want to do, I, what I want to do is encourage 
you are today in the area of desiring companionship. And as you're in your single season and as you're waiting, I don't know how much longer the Lord is going to keep each of us in our single season, but I would just encourage you to take a look at your life, take a look at the people in your life, the communities that you are a part of, and really um, take advantage of those resources and relationships that the God, that God has blessed you with um, as you navigate through desiring companionship. You're not alone. You know, God is always with you. Um, and you're also not alone in the sense of you're not the only one experiencing this. So I just hope and pray that something I said here today encourages you to just take a look at your life and who's in your life and reach out to them. And I also pray that you have people in your life that you can be honest with and, and open with and share what you are experiencing. And above all else, Lord, y'all, talk to God. Talk to God and ask him to lead you. Ask him to even connect you with relationships that you can be be that way with um, and communities as well. So that's all I got to say today. I don't want to keep this video long. I just really wanted to just leave this as a video of encouragement for somebody who's just tired of the wait. You're feeling alone. You're feeling like just how much longer, Lord? Just be encouraged. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Just be encouraged. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, share the video if you think there's somebody that could benefit from this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.